Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this beautiful embroidery flower bunch on the plain blue color t-shirt. So you can convert your boarding plain t-shirt into this beautiful piece of art and it looks just like the ready-made one I have created on one side of the neck area but you can cover around the neck completely. So I'll share each and every step in detail and without any further delay let's get started. So this is my uh, blue colorful sleeve t-shirt and this is very plain so I thought to do something on this to make it more beautiful attractive and unique. So on the right side of this on the shoulder portion towards the neck I have decided to make the beautiful flower bunch and since the area is very small so I am taking my small hoop which is approx 4 inches and fixing my embroidery area inside the hoop stretch the fabric nicely and the work area is ready so I have already created two small circles on this on which I have to do my flowers and here I am doing the wool wheel technique by using total 6 strands of shaded light pink color thread so I am dividing the circle in 5 equal parts like this just like the star shape and the thread I am using today is by Anchor brand and this is done now just take out the needle from the center like this then passing the thread over next strand and underneath the second strand like this again over the next strand and underneath next strand like this again over and underneath and we have to repeat this process alternatively till we reach the outer circumference of the circle So the rose is completed and looking very fluffy and nice. Don't pull the thread very tight. Do it with very light hand. Now taking out the thread from back side, creating some knots. I am making two knots here and cutting out the excess thread like this. And the beautiful gorgeous shaded dark pink rose is ready. Similarly I am going to make one more little bigger size rose here so this is done and I have decided to create one more smaller rose just to complete the bunch of flower like this so using the same method just I have created small size circle here And this is done then starting with making some stems by using chain stitch and here I'm using total three strands of sap green color thread so just randomly making some stems super easy
so this is done then i am making two leaves here on both side of the stem and using the same thread i am doing here leaf stitch making one more leaf here and with the similar method i am going to make some more leaves and stems here and here so this is done now using the lazy daisy technique and three strands of white color thread i am making some bunch of flowers on tip of each stem like this now making some more and this is done looking very pretty then again doing the chain stitch and using three strands of dark sap green color thread making some more foliages here and there just to balance the color similarly going to make some here and here and this is done now using the french knot technique and three strands of dark pink color thread making the flower bunch on tip of each dark sap green color stem so around 4 to 5 french knot i am making to create the bunch of flowers on top of each stem just wrapping the thread around the needle for three times to create the french knot super easy
and with the same method I am going to repeat it on the remaining parts. So this is completely done and the work is also done. So I am just removing the ring hoop from top and bottom and now it's time to extend the flower bunch from top and bottom and I am going to make some foliages diagonally like this one here and one in the bottom so again doing the green color thread and just parallel to the neck area I have drawn the lines so taking the light sap green color thread and using three strands I am doing the back stitch here also making some scrolls on both side of the stem like this using the same back stitch Similarly going to do some more and then on tip of these scrolls I am doing French knot again using 6 strands of shaded dark pink color using the same thread I have created roses. So these knots will be little larger because we are using 6 strands like this and this is completely done. I'm just loving the outcome so much looking very elegant and very beautiful now in between randomly I am sticking 3 mm half cut white color pearls using fabric glue so the fabric glue is completely washable after drying and the pearl work will enhance the beauty of your work little more you can skip this step or you can create the French knot randomly using white thread or of white color thread and the beautiful embroidery work is done on the t-shirt now my t-shirt is looking more attractive and it's just looking like wow so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching bye bye